Someone just called me to say that the North is thinking about producing the next president again. Joe Ibukwe, welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Engineer Joe Ibukwe was on his Facebook account this evening to share the details of a phone call he received from someone. Joe Ibukwe said he just received a call from some another person informed him that the North is thinking about producing the president of Nigeria again in 2023. Joe Ibukwe said after he had the information, he laughed and could not hold back the tears coming out of his eyes. Joe Ibukwe then concluded the statement by saying that that thought should be perished and it should also be considered as a joke. Joe Ibukwe is a big supporter of Bola Tenembu, so one should expect him to laugh at such information because he is of the opinion that it is the turn of the South and Bola Tenembu is the best candidate for the job. My opinion is that since the rotation of the presidency is not the constitution of this country, the North can run again if they wish to because they have the right to also run. The final decision will only be left to the electors to make when the time comes. Joe Ibukwe post reads. Someone just called me to say that the North is thinking about producing the presidency again in 2023. I laughed until tears started coming out of my eyes. Perish the thought and consider it a joke. Well, I guess the person told um, Joe Ibukwe that thing in in the manner or with the school of thought that impossible is nothing. Impossible is nothing, especially with how the not always comes out to say uh, the voting power, they have the voting power, they can do whatever they like, blah, 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 blah. They also come out, they always come out to say that. So this one, it's not a matter of, um, you know, yes, truly, it all depends on where the electorate. But they not always come out to make that if, that um, statement that they have the voting power to vote. And, you know, if they want the president, they won't. In fact, I read a particular article from the, was it from the Nigerian, is it from the Northern Elders Forum, or was it from the Mieti Anla Association? I don't, I don't think it's the Mieti Anla. But one Northern group came out and said, uh, you know, that nobody will force down who they don't want on them. That they are going to take whoever they and I'm looking at these people and I'm saying these people are I know these people are not fine, Sha. They are not fine at all. Okay. Though please let the not be the president. Since your master doesn't want to give the Igbo chance for suffocant like you to go in peace. Hmm. Yeah. You want anybody to fear the not, and he said he be Jagaban. Today in call, you never reach to not disappoint him as he did to MQ. Your boss will not learn a lesson. Since the Southwest and South South seat as a taboo to support the Southeast for presidency, it is better it is thrown open. Quite unfortunate, after enjoying tremendous support from the Southeast several in the past, in Chief Obasanjo, Dr. Jonathan, and now the VP. What a height of hatred and jealousy. Okay. If they not produce the president, that is the end of Nigeria. Hmm. We're going to watch and see how this unfolds. Nigeria going, Nigeria going, Nigeria gone. If we don't take our time, 2023 will be the end of Nigeria. Let us watch and see till 2023. If Southwest is thinking about producing the next president instead of a South, then there is nothing wrong, even not, is doing the same. Yes, they not have the right to produce the next president. Since the South refuses Igbos, then it will go back to the North. So stop crying, your matter is a failure. Well, like I said earlier before, impossible is nothing. These people have always been frightened. Oh, they have the numbers. They can do anything they like. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. South is not united. Let the North continue. 
Southwest and South South are greedy. They so much hate the Southeast. They want to produce another president after they have tested the power. Until they wake up to understand what is equity, the North will still be ruling. Will still be ruling. <laughs> Fully stripe. <laughs> yeah. Now Shakara, then call him as Shakara Oluji apology to Abamieda and Ipula will quit the agreed quotation of presidency is not in the constitution. But federal character principle is in the constitution. Quotation has become our entrenched custom and convention in our policy. Any attempt to justice rotation will be catastrophic violence. It's not the prerogative of any tribe or nationality. <laughs> hey, we will listen show. Rotation, yes, according to them, rotation is not in the constitution. But it's not isn't federal character not there. Is federal character not there at the end of the day? You just hope that um, we just hope that things as at the end of the day things go as it is supposed to. Okay. So shall it be. Did you and your Jacoba listen when we were telling you that they're only toying with your brain? <laughs> toying with your brain indeed. Okay. Okay. Um, at this point in time, since it is known to almost everyone that it is the turn of the southeast, in fact, I feel that the southeast, I don't know what they have done, but I feel they are always sidelined. Why is that? Anytime it gets to their turn, something like this comes up. And before you know it, they'll tell them now, oh, yeah, leave them now. Oh, yeah, leave them. You understand? You know, leave them for these people. No, you'll just leave them for them. And before you know it, but this time around, these people. Leave them no go happen because they have been driving their message home. This is the IPOB movement. They have been driving it home. That see you, you know. Sincerely. This time around, they are not. They are not even. They are, they are not even listening to anyone. They are prepared for whatever will happen. They are prepared. They are prepared. The South South, they are not united. So let the South West and South South are greedy and they hate the South East so much they want to produce another president after they have tested power. Hmm. Okay, and this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for telling me until I come here next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.